we heard about this poster, um, a, a dealer had acquired it and it was stuck to a piece of cardboard and contacted us because we're known as a silent comedy festival and yes yeah, so I, I talked to the person and they sent me some images of it so I could see that it was in quite bad shape really and I wasn't quite sure what to do because you think I really like to have this sort of lovely artifact but it needs looking after so then I thought about someone I've met who's a great paper conservationist uh, Alicia Garcia and thought perhaps if anybody could do something with it she might be able to help save it. Something important about this kind of documents is that they were made only for lasting very few years or very few time, very, very little time. So the materials that they use are very poor. So they are made with um, a wood and it has lots of ingredients in the paper that makes it um, deteriorate very easily and very quickly. So the main problem that it has is that um, it's been it's been very, very damaged in terms of the physically of the uh, physical paper. So we can see that there are some tears here, all over the post. There has lots of tears here. Then it's been bent in three three times. So these um, bends are also tear. And at the very end as well, we can see that there are, it's 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 torn all around the poster, all over the poster. And um, what happened that uh, someone stuck some cellotype pieces and it's okay so they can keep the poster you know in one piece but uh, we this is another problem again because if we don't remove these cellotype pieces uh, they get yellow in the future there is some stainings so there is uh, if you focus you you will see but uh, there is a paint drops scatter all over and there are other drops on the bottom as well. I think the reason why it's important to, to have artefacts related to the films is that this is a period that's, that's pretty well forgotten really and these, these artefacts are ephemera, a bit like the films, so we're lucky to have the original film. So the film was made in 1935 so it's, so it's 80 years old and it's one of those original artefacts and original artefacts of Chaplin's films are incredibly rare and hugely valuable too so we felt that as a as a film festival that champions archive silent film and archive film that just as we try and, and support restorations of films and screen them to new, new audiences in this way we thought it'd be a great thing to acquire a really old artifact get it restored to the best of its its um, integrity the, the remaining of the poster and then get it framed so that people can see it again because these things are lost just as much as the films that they represent too. So it's like bringing the film and the, the poster together. And one of our ambitions for the poster would be to display it during the festival in January 2016. So the next step will be to remove the adhesive residue from the cell tape. So far I have removed only the, the plastic layer and now we have this sticky, so if we touch, for example, here, it is very sticky and so we need to remove it with solvents. After this, I'll try to wash it with a bath of water. It depends on it is subject to the ink, if it resists water bath, but hopefully it will be fine. And then uh, once the paper will be clean, will have been finished with the cleaning process and then I'll uh, work on the repairing of the tears. I will also put vacuum paper to provide more resistance to the document itself and the last stage will be the framing of the work. This is very important. It will provide protection and we need to look after to, to look very carefully to what materials we'll use like the glass and the boards that will be in contact with the packing, so it needs to be conservation grade materials and then how to hold it to the packing, that's important as well. It's very, very weak. I, I think it's going to look very nice at the very end, but it's really, it's really weak. It's, I think 
Sometimes you have documents or poster of works of art that comes to you and they come to you and it's like the ch last chance that they have. And this is one of them, definitely. Yeah, it looks amazing. I saw it today for the first time and um, it looks like a different poster really and it's incredible the work that's been, that's been done on the poster and I wouldn't have believed it could be possible to restore it to that condition and now I think when it's framed and we step a, 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 few, a, a few feet away it would just look perfect. So I think it's a great testament to, to Alicia and her work I think and um, yeah it's a great artefact to see come back to life really so like we try and bring the films back to life it's like bringing these sort of precious ephemera artifacts to life as well. As a festival it feels like a great thrill to have an original film poster of Charlie Chaplin that's owned by the festival in the festival archives it feels like a real opportunity to have a, a, a tiny connection to Chaplin and his films that's part of our um, part of the festival office now.